Hello everyone and welcome to a new 3D art core tutorial and this time we're going to do something that we already done yeah I know but it's really important for me to deliver you uh, a very good way on how to create your own template for your UV map texture so the template basically is that you know black background that we had earlier that we created on the press button uh, tutorial but I want to make it a little bit better so you will have something that it's much more useful than what we had earlier and the reason after I tested it um, you know after that I had some areas that I seen some uh, black you know uh, strips that shouldn't be there basically and I needed to clean or refine those edges uh, borders of our of my UV map so in order to make sure that it will work uh, straight from the beginning uh, I'm going to show you exactly on how to do this so if you recall whenever uh, we done that uh, tutorial we had a UV map we open it with Adobe Photoshop and we add something like that right and then we divided we selected the black area we created a new layer out of it and we simply deleted everything in between between right or something like that so what I want to do here right now is I want to do something else I want to make sure that I'm gonna import only the UV edges without any background so how we are doing this we're gonna go back to Maya with our uh, press button uh, model and because I already UV it UV map it uh, that way now just want to say one thing about that it's not like the best way to UV map this there are a lot of options here that can help you to make even a better folding for this entire thing but at the moment there I want to make things a little bit more simplified and I've done that on this way just be aware that we will have a lot more to uh, learn in order to maybe make our UV maps much better anyway or organized anyway uh, from here what you want to do you want to go over polygon UV snapshot back then I used 2048 so I'm gonna bring it back to 2048 I'm gonna choose a name for it so let's call this well let's put it on the desktop let's call this UV map and this time instead of using TIFF we're gonna use Maya IFF okay with that done we're gonna just go on and click OK this will generate the TIFF, that IFF map on our desktop. Now, for some reason, you can see if I'm clicking here, right click and choose open with, it shows me and gives me the, op the option to open with Adobe Photoshop. But if I'm gonna do this with my new UV map, I'm gonna right click and choose open, it doesn't give me that. But just be aware that Photoshop still can open this. So you just need to drag it into Photoshop. So this is what I'm going to do, okay? <coughs> okay, so here we have our UV map, and if I'm going to zoom in, you will be able to see very slightly those edges. So in order to, uh, you know, bring them to pop out, I will simply create a new layer, and I will press Control Backspace, and this will create a black background and I'm going to bring it beneath our UV edges. Now our UV edges is pretty good here. I mean you can see that it's it's very noticeable if you zoom in but if you don't want this you know you don't want to zoom in too much what you can do you can create duplicates from that layer of our UV like so and every time that you will create more of them you will basically have more brightness to your edges so you just add 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 layers on top of each other and let's create another duplicate layer and now I will, I will what I will do is to grab all of those right click choose merge layers and we will have one merge UV layer so let's rename this to UV UV map okay and with that done, I'm going to create, I'm going to 
take my magic wand tool here. I'm going to click here. And you want to make sure that continuance here, this, is turned on. So you can click it or you can refine edge. Um, I don't want to refine the edge too much. Maybe like so. And just take a look at this. Zoom in very much. Have a look at this. You see that it's outside of our, of our borders. But for some reason, you see, if it grabs this one, if it doesn't grab this black one, we are in trouble here, basically. Because we need only the whites. And in most of them, if I'm going to zoom here, zoom in here, you see it grabbed this one which is good, but at this shape, it's not that good. I mean, it's something in between. It's grabbing also blacks, and these blacks can affect the way that our, um, you know, our texture will look like. So I'm going to crank up the radius here, or maybe reduce it, and click OK. I don't know, maybe I've done something wrong earlier. I'm going to undo that. Let me grab this all over. And I'm going to refine the edge. Maybe smooth it. Maybe change the radius. Not sure. Doesn't look that good that way. I'm going to try this that way to see what it will give. No, it takes, you see, it keeps me with that, so I guess that that's okay. Just click here one time with on the background, and with that created, with that selected, you can go and choose layer, new fill layer, and solid color. Okay? Click OK, make sure that everything is set according to whatever I have here, click OK, and choose a dark color as our background. Okay, click OK. Now we can get rid of this layer, and as you can see, now we can simply grab this and move it to the trash. So, with these two selected, you can group them, sorry, grab both of them, assign them to a new group, and now you can create a new layer down here, bring it down beneath the group, and you can start and paint your way to create your texture. So let's just try this. Uh, you want to use the polygon polygonal tool, and I'm going to just do something, you know, in this area. Okay? Now, I'm on top of my color or diffuse uh, layer here. So I want to color this one and I don't want to touch the group. I will touch the group whenever I want to get rid of my UVs. Right now I still want to see the UVs. That way you can change the opacity if you need, but leave the group alone for now. We're only painting on that. So I'm going to take this marked area, switch to my brush, choose another color, red and I'm gonna paint this area okay don't worry about the edges we, we can turn them off so with that selected and painted now I'm gonna go back here I'm gonna do the same here now I don't wanna deal with that too much right now I just wanna make sure that it's really doing the job and I'm going to turn off the UVs, like so. Just, uh, remove my selection, and I'm going to generate this as PNG. Save as. Let's save it as target, whatever. Uh, let's call this texture. Texture, and save. 24 bits. It's enough. Click OK. Let's just go here. 
Here is our texture. Let's load it with sign new material, mental ray, my material X, my material color, and we're gonna just focus on that button. File, click on that folder, desktop, and texture. Open. As you can see, the entire button is red with no black marks. So I can even smooth preview this and still I don't I won't have any black uh, marks on top of it so basically this is after um, understanding that I've done something wrong and I really feel that you need to know how to do this template better so this is the way please memorize this well, whatever it takes uh, this is the best way really to work that uh, with your UV maps and textures so thank you again for watching, have a good day, and I will see you in the next tutorial. We will do probably some other things. Uh, I, shall, I will see, I don't know. I maybe want to go on with uh, really uh, teach you a little bit more about the UV, uh, about how to UV map, and uh, it will require a little bit more options there to work with. So have a good day, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.